Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the 13 books that I ended up downloading last month in August. Baby, baby. Let's talk about all these ebooks. I love talking about ebooks, especially free ones. First part of this video is going to be my Kindle Unlimited section. So I thought it might be fun every month to now have a Kindle Unlimited section of my ebook hauls because I do haul them but they're on KU, so I don't really need to keep them. And then the later half are gonna be books that I got for free, that are still might be free. We'll see. For my Kindle Unlimited section, we're gonna first talk about Snow by Sophia Lark. This is her second book in her Underworld series, second to Ivan, I've read Ivan. I'm not gonna read the summary for this one because I don't wanna get spoiled. It's the second book in a series, and I really love to go into Sophie Lark's books blind. All I know is that this is a mafia romance. It takes place in a mafia series, a mafia world, and I just love Sophie Lark's writing, so I downloaded it, and hopefully I can read it before the signing I go to <laughs> in like two weeks, but we'll see. We'll see how I get there. I downloaded this next book for that signing as well, because one of these authors is gonna be at a signing I'm going to. Um, this is Truth and Lies, a duet by Nikki Ash and Kay Webster. I've never read anything from these two authors and this book is kind of like a chunker. So um, I think any book over 500 pages is a chunker to me, okay? So um, this is like 546 pages. This is apparently a dark arranged marriage Greek mafia romance and it's a duet bind up. The summary is set up really weird on here. You have like the guy saying one line and the girl saying one line. I think I'm just gonna say the guy's lines and leave it at that. It's, it's confusing. Anyway, okay. My life was brutal, horrific, ruthless, dark, until a beautiful bride was dragged into my life. I took her as my prize and made her mine. Vengeance never tasted so sweet. I see her truths every day and it's hard not to fall for a woman who makes me weak. She can try to run, but I have no intention of ever letting her go. I wanted to marry for hate, but it looks like hate is a lie. That sounds good. <laughs> and, um, I, I, I honestly love this cover. So um, hopefully I can read this one before the signing, but we'll see, honestly. <laughs> um, it's coming up close and it takes me a while to read 500 page books. Another one I got off of Kindle Unlimited is A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon. This is a monster romance that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. I downloaded this because this is actually on my five-star prediction list for 2022 and I haven't read it yet. It's like it been hanging over my head for a while. I love monster romance, obviously, if you didn't know. And um, this is like a lot of people's favorite. So I just need to finally get to it. My only like thing that I think I'm hesitant, hesitant about is that it is like a wide shoes romance so there's multiple men and one woman and I'm I'm not really the biggest fan of romances like that so um we'll see we'll see what I think next on the Kindle Unlimited section we have Stolen by an Alien by Amanda Milo this is her first book in the like Alien Mate series I've already read this book but it's been a while since I've read it and I don't remember anything and I remember it not really being my favorite so I thought I'd give it a reread so I can continue on with the series but this is a romance between a roke, a roke, a roke, who's an alien guy, um, and Angie. And Angie is like a human slave and he ends up saving her, basically. And so I downloaded this to reread it so I can hopefully read the rest of the books in the series because I recently read like book 12 and I was totally lost with like the side characters and the world and stuff. So I was like, okay, let's go back and read this series again because I don't remember anything. <laughs> Another one off of Kindle Unlimited that I just finished today is A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. Holy crap, I loved this. This is a monster romance. It's a tome, it's over 500 pages, and it is good. It's about Orpheus and Rhea. Orpheus is this monster, Rhea is this human woman, human woman who's been offered as like a sacrifice by her village to Orpheus because they have to sacrifice a woman to be his bride once every 10 years for them to, for him to protect their village and she gets chosen and Orpheus takes her to his home in the Vale in the woods where demons are and um she realizes that this monstrous creature is like the sweetest man in the entire world and oh my gosh it is beautiful I love it please read it the next one that I downloaded is Flores Fiasco by uh Ruby Dixon this is book number 17 in the Ice Home series it's her newest release so I downloaded it because I still have to read it I haven't read it yet I know it's been out for like a week and I haven't read it yet Okay, um, I'm not gonna read the summary for this one either because it's book 17 in the series I don't want to spoil anything because this one kind of also whoever she's with in this one kind of like spoils the last book 
if um, you haven't read the last book in the series, like the book number 16. So I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't read any of the Ice Home books. Okay, now we can get into the summaries because <laughs> I don't know anything about these books. This is Gaslight Hades by Grace Draven, the first book in her Bone Keeper Chronicles. I actually purchased this one. This is the only one I've purchased, um, but I think I had like some credits. So it was technically free, but I it, it was not a free book if you get my drift. This is another book on my five star prediction list, but I'm gonna read the summary for you, okay? Nathaniel Gordon walks two worlds, that of the living and the dead. Barely human, he's earned the reputation of a bone keeper, the scourge of grave robbers. He believes his old life over until one dreary bur- bur-, bur I can't ever say that word. Burial? 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 <laughs> he meets the woman he once loved and almost married. Lenore Kenward stands at her father's grave begging the protection of the mysterious guardian, not knowing he is her lost love. Resolved to keep his distance, Nathaniel is forced to abandon his plan and accompany Lenore on a journey to the mouth of hell where sky meets sea and the abominations that exist beyond its barrier wait to destroy them. I'm excited to read this. I love anything Grace Draven, so hopefully I love this one for my five-star prediction video. I, of course, had to find some free alien romances this month. So I ended up finding The Aliens Prize by Zoe Draven for free earlier this month, or last month, sorry, and um, I'm so excited. I love Zoe Draven. Um, but this one is on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. Or you could purchase it for uh, $2.99. Welcome to Luxuria, where the twin suns are hot and the alien warriors are hotter. Katie Harper finally had everything going on back on Earth. Her dream job, a kick butt best friend, and an apartment completely void of her cheating ex. That is until she wakes up cuffed and naked on an alien planet slash fight club known as The Pit. Worse, Aliens fight to the death to be able to claim their prize, human pleasure mates. Even worse, she realizes she's one of them. Vaxen, the prime leader of Luxuria, has a duty to his warrior species, continue their race. Infamously ruthless and deadly, the Luxurian knows he'll have no trouble claiming a breeder in the pit. What he doesn't expect to find is his fated mate. With her lush curves and tempting body, he will stop at nothing to claim her. When Kay becomes the warrior Alpha's prize, her only goal is getting back to the life she was taken from. Certainly not fall for the sexy, overbearing barbarian with a wicked tongue who is determined to make her his own. That sounds so stinking good. <gasps> I want to read that now. I have so many books I need to read. I want to read this one now though. I then downloaded Shamrocked by Jolie Supercart. I have read some Jolie Supercart in the past. So when I saw her name pop up as a free book one day, I was like, steal, let's get it right now. Um, this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. Gargoyle, a Leprechaun, and some Bad A Bikers walk into a bar. Scratch that. The human woman, me, accidentally walks into a fairy bar run by a leprechaun who keeps a cursed gargoyle on a shelf. Somehow that gargoyle goes home with me and I start dreaming of a man. Doran, he's trapped in stone and darkness and only I can free him. He says I'm the treasure keeper and I need to find his friends, the other treasures, so we can break his curse. He haunts me night and day, driving me to hurry. I can't sleep, I can't think, I have to find them, I have to free him. Turns out his friends aren't that hard to find because they're drawn to me too. But these whiskey drinking, tattoo loving, motorcycle riding bad A's are resigned to their fate. Over the centuries, they lost too many treasure keepers to risk their hearts and souls again. I have to find a way to convince them to join me before it's too late. So I think this is a why choose romance which was her previous book that I uh, read by her was also a Why Choose one. But we'll see, because I actually did like that one. That was like um, her Vampire Nights or something like that. I can't remember. So we'll see what I think about this one. I then found Free Me by Laura Lynn Page for free. This is her first book in the Found duet. Anything by Laura Lynn Page, I will immediately get it if it's free because I love her writing. This is currently available to purchase for $6.99 as a Kindle. However, uh, it's also like $2 on audio. I don't know how long that will be, but it is $2 on audio. I wasn't supposed to be working the night I met JC. Before him, I'd been content with the daily grind, managing one of New York City's top nightclubs. So what if my life didn't have a happy ending? I didn't believe in that anyway. Then JC showed up. Handsome, rich, and smooth talking, JC is nothing more than a distraction. I'm not interested in a one night in shining latex, so it's easy to push the playboy away 
or it is until my life spins unexpectedly out of control. Then he's there for me, offering me a new method of survival, one based on following primal urges and desires that require me to abandon my constant need for control. His no strings attached lessons obliterate my carefully built walls. And as I discover freedom, I start to feel things for him that I shouldn't. Things that make me fear for my newly vulnerable heart because JC has secrets of his own and his secrets don't want to set him free. Next is Taken by the Dragon King by Amelia Shaw. This is a steamy paranormal dragon romance. Ooh. Um, this is still available to download for free. Stavrok won't let anything stand between him and his mate. There's a beast inside me and there will be a time when I can't control him. That's what my father told me happens when my dragon finds his mate. He will claim them. He will not be gentle. He will not be sweet. My dragon will do whatever it takes to ensure my mate doesn't leave, no matter the cost. Lucy thinks soulmates are only for her dreams. When a stranger breaks into my home and comes after me, I recognize his face. He's the man for my dreams, the one I'm destined to fall in love with, but I don't believe in soulmates. That's when I tried to flee. Stavrok takes Lucy to the snowy mountains, hell bent on proving she's his mate, but then his kingdom is attacked and Lucy is stolen away from the Dragon King. Now her only hope lies in knowing Stavrok will turn the world to ash and brimstone looking for her and his dragon babies. What? That line just spoiled it. What the heck, y'all? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, I guess this is a dragon trip to romance with beta mates and I guess dragon babies now. <laughs> anyway, that sounded really good. I love beta mate romances. And then I found a fae romance. This is To Catch a Fae by Mila Young. This is still available to download for free. He speaks in my mind, seductive words, dangerous flirtations, promises to come for me my dark lord he exists in a deadly realm where war where war <laughs> ravages the land where monsters roam the forests where i belong apparently and the dead of night this powerful fae steals me away to the dark and mystical place where he claims i belong to him but he isn't the only one two other dark and handsome suitors also want to make me theirs they say i'm in danger that only they can save me for i am the key to something important something i don't yet understand Despite how my body responds to theirs, I fear these brutal lands and these cruel fae princes might drag me into their madness and I'll never escape. I think this is another why choose romance, which is not my favorite. I don't know why I keep downloading these, but I think I'm trying to find one that like I don't hate. So <laughs> maybe this will be one I don't hate. And the last one that I downloaded in August is Tales of Earth and Leaves by Kendra Noel or no, no, well, no. Um, this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. After the sudden death of her brother, Anwen needs to fulfill a promise. She has to travel to the Evit Forest, a natural world wonder owned by the Swedish royal family, guarded for 150 years and forbidden to all visitors. Haunted by her brother's last words, she convinces her powerful family to secure her residence inside the secluded forest. During her stay, Anwen will discover that she is not alone as she falls prey to the battle between Raylan, a vengeful fire spirit, and Ans Ansgar, the youngest member of the Fey royal family, assigned to guard and protect the forest. Overcome by curiosity towards the unknown man who invaded her life, Anwen finds herself falling in love with Ansgar only to reveal his true identity and with it unravel the dangers that await. Oh, there you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month in August. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any forest related emoji in the comment section down below, trees, leaves, whatever the case may be. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.